Hi, I'm David, and this is the Biology Classroom. This is common mistake in AS Biology Part Two. Number one, stating active site of enzyme. It should be site with a T. Number two, believing that the Michaelis-Menten constant is a rate value. The Michaelis-Menten constant is the substrate concentration at which the reaction velocity is 50% of the Vmax. So it refers to the substrate concentration, but not the rate. Number three, stating that kinetic energy of enzymes decreases if the temperature rises above the optimum temperature. Enzymes start to denature when the temperature increases beyond the optimum temperature. The rate of enzymatic reactions will be reduced, but this does not mean that the kinetic energy of the enzyme molecules will be decreasing. It will continue to increase with the increasing temperature. Number four, stating that cholesterol has a hydrophilic head and hydrophobic tail. A phospholipid molecule has a hydrophilic head and a hydrophobic tail. Cholesterol, on the other hand, like phospholipids, has both hydrophilic and hydrophobic regions. That is what enables them to align with phospholipids in the cell surface membrane. But we do not call those regions head and tail. Number five. Confusing channel and carrier proteins. Channel proteins act as hydrophilic tunnels across the cell surface membrane, allowing their target molecules to pass through by diffusion. Some of them may be open or closed in response to a particular signal, but they do not change their shape each time a molecule passes through. Carrier proteins change their shape to move a target molecule from one side of the membrane to the other. As a target molecule binds to it. It changes its configuration to move the molecule to the opposite side. Then it will change back to the original configuration. Number six, confusing cell surface receptor and cell surface antigens. Cell surface receptor is where an extracellular ligand or signaling molecule binds with to create a particular change inside the cell. For example, the cell surface receptor for hormones. Cell surface antigens. Are the molecules present on the cell surface membrane, which act as the marker for the cell? It can be used to identify and classify the cell. For example, the classification of human blood group is based on the antigens present on one's red blood cells. Number seven, stating that cell signals start off a nerve impulse. Cell signaling is a mechanism to start off a specific change inside the cell. For example. Insulin is a signal molecule that stimulates the liver cells to increase the rate of glycogenesis. A nerve impulse is started off by a stimulus. Number eight, using the term concentration of water. When describing osmosis, you must use the term water potential, which is the potential energy of water in a system compared to pure water, and it quantifies the tendency of water to move from one area to another. Number nine. Confusing centromeres, centrioles, and centrosomes. The centromere is a specialized sequence of DNA in a chromosome that holds the two chromatids together. It is also the point of attachment of the kinetochore, a structure to which the microtubules of the mitotic spindle become anchored. A centriole is an organelle with a symmetrical structure of nine microtubules arranged in a hollow cylinder, while centrosome is made up of two centrioles arranged at right angles to each other. Inside a mass of cell material containing about 100 different proteins. Number ten, stating that mitosis is for cell repair. Cell repair refers to any of the several mechanisms by which a cell repairs its DNA when a mutation is detected. Mitosis is a cell division which produces two identical daughter cells. It involves in tissue repair where the dead cells are replaced. This is not the same as cell repair. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can also follow me on Facebook. Thank you, and see you again soon.